Let's look at a triple integral in spherical coordinates. Here what we want to do is just compute a triple integral that is set up in the uh, spherical coordinate system. So what we have is a triple integral um, phi running from 0 to pi over 4, theta 0 to pi over 4, and rho from 0 to cosine theta. So first off we can notice that there's no dependence in the first integrals here or these two integrals on the phi. So we can go ahead and break off the phi integral, move it off to the left. But these two integrals do correlate rho and cosine theta, or rho and theta, so we need to keep them together. So notice first, our first integral is just with rho, that's just add one divided by the new power. So we get rho to the third divided by three, and of course the limits of integration or cosine theta and zero. I went ahead and wrote this in since it's just a little bit more complicated and we need to get used to it. So at this point, we can go ahead and look at this integral and see that this is u du. This is ready to go. Here's u, here's the differential. So this is add one divided by the new power. So we get sine phi quantity squared divided by two. Now, when we look at the evaluation here, the lower limit gives us zero, but the upper limit will give us a cosine cubed. Of course, we go ahead and factor the one third. And then of course, to integrate the cosine cubed, we just use the fundamental theorem of trigonometry and write cosine squared as one minus sine squared with the differential right here. So when we move to the next integral, we have cosine theta minus sine squared times cosine theta. Now, for the first integral, we just simply substitute the pi over 4 uh, into our integrand. And then, of course, the 0 gives us nothing but 0. So here, this is very simple, and we multiply the 1 third and the 1 half and get 1 sixth. Now, when we look at this portion here, easy antiderivative, we have that the antiderivative of cosine is sine, and here we have the u squared du. So upon anti-differentiation, we get the sine theta minus the sine cubed over 3. Add 1 divided by the new power. And of course here, sine of pi over 4 is just 1 over root 2. And we're going to have to square that. So that's a very simple uh, trigonometric uh, calculation. Now at this point, what we want to do is go ahead and substitute. But first we notice that uh, evaluation at zero for both of these terms just gives us zero, so we're done with that. But we'll put in the uh, pi over 4, and since we've done this here, this will be 1 over root 2. Of course, we have the 1 third here, and then if we actually cube 1 over root 2, we get 1 over 2 root 2. So now everything's looking pretty good. We square the 1 over root 2 here and get 1 half, and so that's going to give us a 1 twelfth. And now for this portion here, to simplify it, we can just go ahead and factor the 6 root 2 downstairs. So we have 6 root 2 here. Notice here we had no 6, so we pay for it with the 6, and we just left behind the negative 1 here. And so that gives us 5, uh, 6 times 12, 72 root 2 downstairs. And if you want to rationalize, you'll get 5 root 2 over 144. And we are done.